Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're out here in Florida again, checking out some flooded cars. And that's right, there's a CA behind me, but this time red. Let's check it out and maybe we'll win it. It's playing today. Who knows, we could probably drive it home. It's pretty crazy, but there's another one. Let's check it out. Maybe this one's actually flooded. If it is, we might have to pass because there's so many electronics on this thing. But dang, this thing is nice. Got it right. I don't see the Z51 performance, but that's okay. You know, that's just an additional thing. The door is locked, but nice. Handy dandy zip ties. Right away, I can see some sand, some dirt, but maybe because the window was open or something like that, we don't know. But you definitely see some stuff is going on, some water marks here and there. No power, which is really unfortunate. But man, this thing is nice. Hardtop convertible again, beautiful red. Check out that spoiler on there. Overall, the body looks in really good condition. Damn. Oh, I would drive this around for sure. Man, yeah, guys, so the overall the interior looks really similar to the other one. It's got the little Stingray badge, they're not stolen this time. The seats look amazing, but unfortunately I do see some evidence for water damage underneath. There's some sand, there's some basically standing water, and it kind of erodes slowly, and you can see the results of it. Man. So if water definitely got inside this one, it's probably very minor, like the water line is really low, so it is, it is down there, you know? Not too bad, but it's playing in a couple hours. So I'm going to watch it, but I'm probably not going to play this one because it's a long way home and I don't really want to get stuck. Water probably did get inside this, so a lot of electronic issues. I already had one, so let's move on and see what else we can find. All right, guys, so next on our list, we actually have a 2020 Coleman bumper pull camper. I know we're checking them out. Well, I might as well. We get some good deals sometimes. It was salvaged out to water damage, but this one does have a title. So it's salvage, rebuildable, not a destruction title, so you actually could pull it around. So that's pretty cool. Let's go check it out, see, check out the water damage, and see if it's worth bidding on. It's actually playing tomorrow, so we have a little bit of time. But since we're here, we walked all the way out to the heavies. Man, what a journey. I'm already sweating. Out here in Florida, it's hot. I mean, it's crazy. You know, we're over there freezing, snowstorms and stuff, and down south, it's nice. No wonder people come down to the south for the winters, but let's check it out. Let's see if this thing's worth getting. So it's kind of a smaller camper, I would say. Nothing crazy, more of an entry level, which is nice. I mean, Coleman's a good brand. They've been around forever. Insurance is selling it. It is a pure sale. We got, you know, electric wench right there. It's nice. No tanks, but that's okay. That happens. We got a battery, not too bad. You can see some corrosion. No, no, yes and no. I guess it's been painted to be protected and that's looking pretty good. Nice. Yeah, this is like the main power switch right here, on and off, so it's already on. It's got no power probably, but that's where all the electronics are and so far that's looking pretty good. So we'll check inside, make sure the floor is not soft. You know, nothing's falling through. Not smelling like crazy. That's not bad. So what we're looking for is for the wood to be swelling up or anything like that. If it's already expanding, you know, like completely coming apart, that's pretty bad. Usually this is, it gets dirty here. You know, it's not too bad, I would say. I don't see any water damage. No mold, no, you know, evident damage right away. Unit has been winterized. Okay, it's, it's opening, that's good. So let's go ahead and go inside and check it out and then we'll probably go around make sure there's no more body damage or anything like that. Not bad, more of a new camper smell, which is nice. I see a little bit of sand and dirt here, but that's normal, very typical. Man, these campers are so close to each other. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get this ladder down. Yeah. Hey, there's a will, there's a way. We'll get, we'll get in there. Just figure this out <laughs> and we're inside just like that like i said it's still smelling pretty fresh in here i like the design already of it i mean you got your kitchen still a nice good countertop space so 
you can you know, make whatever you want. And right here, a big old unit, dinette kind of thing with the kiddos. I'm pretty sure this converts to a bed. This whole thing will slide out. Very modern, very clean, big old table, followed by some closet space, bathroom, and a bunk bed. So that's, that's really cool, very nice design. Perfect for the kiddos, feels great. Wow, it even has a clean fridge. You guys, it's so nice, it's good smelling fridge. Worth that much more bidding on. Wow, very clean, very well taken care of, nice. Let's see if I can find the electric panel though, the fuse box, and see if there's any corrosion going on there. Yep, it's over here. Wow, pretty big camper. Okay. All right, guys, so here's the fuse box down here. I'm gonna check it out. Wow, it looks really clean. No corrosion, none of the fuses look bad. I don't see any water damage on there. Because if that goes bad, then you know you have a lot of issues. You gotta rewire everything and that's a big deal. So it's really nice. I would say it's fairly clean. Maybe a little bit of water, you know, got to the tires or something like that, but so far no signs of crazy water damage. No, it's really nice. And moving right along to the master bedroom. Check this place out. Everything you need. You got your closet, some mirrors, your beds, some trunk space under there as well. Oh yeah. It's a great little camper. I would say it's nice, compact, you know, not too crazy to move around and stuff, but very clean, very fresh. And definitely a winner, we'll keep it in mind and hopefully pick it up for a good price. Who knows, we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely watch it and let you know if we get it or not. But let's keep going, check out the outside, make sure there's no crazy damage, something we missed, you know, like this side's good and there's like the other side just missing completely. <laughs> you, you gotta walk around. Yes, yeah, so let's finish that first. Moving right along. Awning looks like it's in good shape. No crazy damage here. This is this a storage compartment? No, it's actually a outdoor kitchen. So you got a grill. Legit. Look at that. A little mini fridge out here, some compartments, electrical outlet. Very nice. You got everything you need. Even got electric leveling jack system. Pretty fancy. We just don't want something like this on the other side. That's, that's about it. So, so far it's a win, but we've got to do our diligence and scope around. Looks like you got a place for a backup camera, wired in, outdoor shower. These bumpers are nice. They're actually a storage unit for your sewage system. So it's nice. Pop the cap off, slide it in. Yeah, looks pretty solid. Tires in good condition. I don't see any rust, nothing crazy. Awesome, we found a good one. So since we're out here in the heavies, we might as well check out all the other campers. This thing's also playing, it's a future sale. It's a 2021 and listed as a other other. So whatever that means. I guess it's a Outback Ultralight. Also flooded out, there's no status in the title yet. It's still probably in the paperwork phase, trying to figure out salvage destruction, you know, trying to find it kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, flooded, that's what we do. You know, that's why we're here. Let's do our diligence, check it out. I can see some sand, but that could be from just regular, you know, use and getting dirty. Let's keep going. Let's check it out. What's behind door number three? I can't open it, it's fine. Keep going. Yeah, I can see some rust. Definitely a lot of sand, water kind of thing. I mean, it, it's hard to say. Could have been going through a lot of dirt and stuff, so that pipe's kind of rusty, but I mean, the salt air itself will make it rusty, so it's hard to say if that's crazy water damage or not. Overall, no, nothing too bad. I like the design though, it's pretty slick. Check out these taillights. Oh yeah, you gotta be different, you know? Spare tire's always nice. Got a good awning. Also electric leveling system, pretty sweet. These rims are like very standard for all campers. It's like the same kind of rim style, but whatever. It's a little dirty, but this will wash out, definitely buff out. Water line, okay, there we go. So that's the water line right there. 
expected water line. I wouldn't say it smells bad or anything, but that could be venting out. Nothing's swelling, so that, that's good. Maybe water got in, water got out. As long as you just don't want sitting water because that starts rotting, starts expanding, having a lot of issues. Plenty of space this time, no need for parkour. Nice. Safe, that's sturdy. Overall good smell, yeah. It smells pretty fresh, which is pretty nice because I mean, if you just use a camper and don't clean it, it smells bad. So this, this, is, this is a good sign so far. Wow, check out this control board. A lot of options, still missing a couple options, but still got more options. It looks like it's swelled, but I think it's just because of the curve. So that's interesting. Two slide outs right there, boom, boom. I'm sure this thing opens up pretty nicely. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Floor feels pretty solid. Looking around, we got some keys. Big old TV right there, couches. Very nice. Pretty cool camper, guys. It's actually a fun experience to go around and see all the different layouts and designs. I mean, it's interesting how the island's like right here in the middle. You can't get past it. It's like, where, where does it go? But honestly, I think it just stays there and the sides open up. So both left and right will just open up and then you can walk past it, no problem. But currently, we can't. I see some trim work that needs to be done, you know, little things here and there, but you get shaken up, things fall apart. Campers are just built that way, unfortunately. But it looks good. Let's check out the master bedroom. Again, smells really nice in here. Nothing crazy. It's got an upgraded mattress. Ooh, that's like firm but soft. Very nice. That's the first update people usually do for their campers is upgrade their mattress. Because the original ones are usually pretty bad. But yeah, I would say it's a win as well. Definitely worth the risk. Depending if somebody else wants it more than us, we'll keep an eye on it and hopefully we'll get it. Dang guys, so check out this transit right here. For some reason, these sty the style like this, they're so expensive. Either if it's a Mercedes or a transit, they're just top dollar. This thing's worth $164,000. So it is a future sale, but they actually salvage it out to minor dents and scratches and water flood damage. So primary scratches, secondary water flood. But whatever, let's check it out. I mean, why not? We're here. Platinum number three, because platinum number two just ain't good enough. So it's basically a Ford Transit cutaway van and they built a camper around it. Very clean inside, it looks brand new. Ooh, but this one's a diesel. So sometimes Ford has the EcoBoost, regular V6, and then the Ford Transits also have the diesel version, which are notoriously go bad. I, I had a couple and nothing but issues. So I'm just gonna pass, you know, just, I didn't wanna deal with it, honestly. It's not a run and drive and it's probably for that reason. There's plenty of fish in the sea. We'll find something else. All right, guys, so we're coming to the end of the line. Literally, there's the fence, and we reached it. This is the corner of the Copart yard, but check out this 2015 luxury lifestyle fifth wheel camper. Estimated value $70,000. I mean, some of these campers get ridiculous pricing, but unfortunately, it's already sold. I scanned the number. I was able to go to Auto A Stat and find out the final bid. I'm just curious, you know, sold. All right, that's cool. Somebody got a good deal, and I think they did. Final bid, 4,950 bucks. Dang, that, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I don't know, it's probably bad inside. Who knows what's in the inside, but I think that's still a really good deal. Five grand, you got yourself a crazy lifestyle camper. Wow, pretty cool, but let's keep going. All right, guys, so there it is. Current bid is 35,000 for that 2022 Stingray that we checked out, it's playing in an hour. But man, there's still so many cool things here. Look, there's another Stingray. Ooh, 2020, let's go find that. Where's that at? Let's go check that out. It's playing right now as well. Sorry guys, the we got some. Has revealed the minimum bid. A sublot. Oh, man, we're not, see there's, like I said, so many yards here. So it's actually in a different yard. We're about an hour away from it. But, dang. That's beautiful. Oh, it looks kind of bad though. Yeah, probably flooded. 
really high water line. Not this time, guys. But definitely some cool cars. Don't want to accidentally bid on something. Um, we got ourselves a 2013 Ferrari. Let's see where that's at. I mean, if it's in this yard, then let's check it out. And drive some fun home. Darn. This is a hot lot. It's here, so we should be able to find it. Let's go see if we can find it before it plays. We still have 40 minutes. Let's hunt it down. All right, guys, we're out here looking for that Ferrari. But honestly, I was looking at the details on it. It has a destruction title, so it's like, whatever. You know, we're not going to be able to register it, so we'll move on to life. But hey, check this out. Pretty sweet. I'm going to check out the lot number two. I don't know about it. It just caught my eye. Maserati. Definitely be nice. Very low water line. I mean, this thing is should be really clean. Run and drive. Yeah, let's check it out. Clear coat's kind of peeling already. So sad. So sad. You'd think these things would be top of line, but hey, you know, it happens to all of us. Let's check out the lot number. It's a future sale. Certificate of destruction. Not repairable. <sighs> that is unfortunate. Also, certificate of destruction, even though super low water line. Oh well. It's got power and everything. Run and drive. Dang, see if the seats move. That's crazy. So sad, guys. So sad. You got a car that's working. Super low water line. Plenty of life left in it. Start it. 40,000 miles on it. It's nothing. I don't know how this key works. You gotta untape it. Yeah, I gotta untape it. So nice. It says run and drive. It is a run and drive, but. What kind of key do they have for a Maserati? Kind of dinky, I would say. What is this? It looks like a Kia Soul or something. Like a Jetta key. Jetta key or something. Kind of sad, I would say, but I mean, it's not even worth playing because we can't get it back in the road. You can't get insurance. You can't register. No plates. Just a parts car. Wow, guys, so that's pretty crazy how much the C8 went for, but hey, we found some good ones, we found some bad ones. You know, it is what it is, that's part of the game. We're out there, we're hunting, but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. We are gonna pick something up. We're out here in Florida. We don't wanna leave empty-handed, so hopefully we'll bring home something awesome. Leave some comments down below. We'll catch you next time.